friends welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat West Bengal India this is the hardest cataract that I have managed in the last six months by fecal multiplication let us observe this surgery this is the main incision with a 2.8 millimeter steel keratome at 11 o'clock at mid limbus this is a side port on the right side of the main incision and this is another side port on the left side of the main incision the side ports are about three o'clock hours away from the main incision now I inject an air bubble and underneath this air bubble I apply tripan blue dye over the anterior capsule of this very hard cataract nuclear sclerosis in this case is in grade 6 the dye is now washed out with BSS and after washing the dye out of the anterior chamber 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose is injected into the anterior chamber the SPMC is applied over the cornea also for better visibility and now capsulorexis now see what happens as I go in with the uterata forceps and try to tear off the anterior capsule at the central part I cannot do it the whole lens moves and I cannot pierce the anterior capsule this means there is some weakness generalized weakness of the junior so I take a needle and raise a capsular tag and very gently I go all around to do a large rexus the nucleus is huge and if I do a small rexus management of this nucleus will be very very tough so my plan is to do a large rexus here at around 1.30 o'clock the rexis tended to go to periphery but I could retrieve it easily the rexis is not round but it is large and adequate sized and now I am doing hydro dissection the fibers the capsulocortical adhesions are so firm in this case that I cannot do hydro dissection in this case injected visco at multiple points at all quadrants tapped the nucleus but see the nucleus doesn't rotate and in such cases the genuine friendly approach is bimanual rotation of the nucleus take two Sinsky hooks and rotate the nucleus in this way both clockwise and anticlockwise break all the capsulocortical adhesions and then proceed we cannot neglect one step and go to the next step if we want to do fecal emulsification for this very hard cataract and now is the time to go into the eye with the feco needle the exposed part of the needle is this much little more than in a usual soft cataract some superficial cortical lens matter is removed now I turn the handpiece make the bevel up and now my plan is to do submarine chop 
push the nucleus little down and go into the substance of the nucleus travel through the nucleus like a submarine the chopper supports the anterior surface and as it goes near the opposite equator the chopper is used to crack this nucleus into two halves but it didn't crack nicely and as I rotate the nucleus and try to divide the nucleus into two portions it doesn't yield it doesn't give in so I have to go to more periphery hold it at the periphery and then I could divide the nucleus but still some band is there at the center joining these two portions and this is the larger portion my plan is to do three fragments out of this large portion we cannot call it a hemineucleus hemi means half this is not half this is a larger portion and the other one is a smaller portion so the larger portion is being divided into three fragments and I find that these three fragments are almost free here is an endonucleus I remove that and get on to the central piece and emulsify this piece FECO power used in this case is 90% in continuous mode and though it is in continuous mode I am applying the ultrasonic energy only when I have to emulsify some piece and I am applying the energy within the substance of the nucleus all the time and all the time the tip of the FECO needle is at the central 3 millimeter safe zone and at the iris plane or below the iris plane and now I come out I want to protect the endothelium so fill off the anterior chamber again with 2% HPMC frequent application of HPMC is as good as use of viscoat that is chondroitin sulfate and sodium hyaluronate combination and now I go again with the FECO needle and now my plan is to divide this portion of the nucleus into three parts this is one part and this is another two parts now all these portions are attached to each other by leathery posterior plate so what I do is with my blunt chopper I lift this and apply a burst of ultrasonic energy now I come out I want to do manually separate the pieces now inject visco push the posterior capsule behind now the blunt chopper goes behind and the Sinsky hook in front and thus I divide the nucleus in this way I cannot divide the this larger piece but it can be managed and now inject visco again to protect the corneal endothelium and now I go again with the hand piece the piece at 6 o'clock is waiting to be emulsified hold it and 
emulsify it with 90% ultrasonic energy. And it is done. I am always keeping on piece behind protect to protect the posterior capsule, bringing another piece over it and emulsifying it because there is generalized weakness of the genule and in such cases the posterior capsule comes to the aspirating port very easily. This is the last portion. I am thinking of emulsifying this piece with very low vacuum. So here I use only 80% ultrasonic energy, 20 flow rate and 100 millimeter of mercury vacuum. And as I try to emulsify the last few bits, see what happens. Here it is. I have caught the steer capsule. So I use reflux, release it. I could use the reflux at the right time, that's why the posterior capsule is saved. The machine being used is Oatly Cataract 3. Its reflux is at the heel and we can easily use the reflux in a moment. And now my plan is to implant the lens and emulsify the last few bits of the nucleus using the intraocular lens as the scaffold. And here goes the hydrophilic acrylic single piece monofocal intraocular lens in the capsular bag. Inject some more visco and now over this intraocular lens using this intraocular lens as the platform I'm going to emulsify the last few bits of the nucleus. And this is the 100% foolproof way of not catching the posterior capsule. So the nuclear bits are removed, that piece will not come. So a lot of visco was there, it has come. And now I'm going to remove that piece. I want to keep the antechamber deep, that's why I inject visco again. And now I'm going to remove the cortex. The cortex is coming out very easily. But there are a lot of cortex uh, in the sub incisional area. So I'm going to use bimanual irrigation aspiration to remove that cortex. Yes, most of the cortex, almost all, has come out. This is a bit of moxifloxacin. 
now the sideboards are hydrated and the case is concluded so this was a very tough case we must develop our reflexes to such an extent that if we if we catch the posterior capsule we should be able to release it by using reflux thank you very much for your attention